for those of you who are taking Propia, I want to spend a few minutes here today talking about our task called Making Travel Arrangements. Our task is divided into four steps, and I want to spend a few minutes here talking about each of the steps and also referencing our Teams space under our folder called Week 10 Travel. So step one, we're going to divide up in teams and we'll do that in class. But I'd like for you to consider as a team that you are a teacher working in the United States and you earn an average of $66,397 a year. Imagine that you and your significant other, both of whom are teachers and both of whom make an average teaching salary of $66,397 a year. You, after a year, you save 5% of your salary. So you have total, between the two of you, you have $6,640 available to spend on a trip. So thinking very generally, Think of where you would like to go. Think of maybe three or four, maybe five different destinations that you would like to go to. What kind of activities do you enjoy doing? What kind of things would you like to do during your vacation that you would consider? Now, I'm giving this dollar amount not to look up your own travel plans, not to even, uh, you can look up certain destinations if you want to learn more about it to get more information, to see if it's something that you want to do. But avoid looking up specific prices, okay? Your job in step one is simply talk amongst your teammates and decide what kind of trip would a couple enjoy doing. Make notes, record your conversations, and once you've completed that, upload your recording and transcription to our week 10 travel folder there's a folder called trip decision step one within this folder i would ask that you create a team folder where you can put your files where you can put your audio file or video file i think audio is fine for this this step and the transcription of your of your audio once you've completed step one, continue with step two. Step two involves teaming up with your respective team. So two teams are going to team up. Teams one and two are going to team up. Teams three and four will team up. Teams five and six will team up. Teams seven and eight will team up. Teams nine and ten will team up. So the interview is going to consist of two parts. The first part is to re record yourselves developing questions that you can ask your respective team, uh, team uh, pair, your team that you're paired up with. And remember that the team that you're working with, they are answering, they're going to answer questions based on as if they were a couple that are wanting to go on vacation. So record yourselves with your teammates developing questions that you could ask your clients, your customers that are wanting to make a trip. And try to come up with one initial question per team member, but be prepared for follow-up questions. Follow-up questions are basically questions, additional questions based on what your, uh, your client tells you. All right, so follow-up questions are necessary whenever you want to get more information. You want to get detailed information. So be prepared for possible follow-up questions depending on how general your initial question is. Okay, so one initial question per team member with the understanding that follow-up questions are likely. Once you are prepared, create a separate recording of each team conducting an interview with the other team, asking those questions, following up, getting detailed information about what kind of trip that they would like to take. All right, it's not necessary really to mention the budget since it's going to be a known 
you know, we know how much we're going to have to spend, but at this point, you're just getting information in this interview. You're finding out what they enjoy doing, where they would like to travel, why they would want to travel there, anything else that is related to what you would need to know to come up with an itinerary for your client, a travel plan for your client. Once you've completed your two recorded, um, inter well, two recordings, you're going to have one recording for you talking about developing the questions and a separate audio of the interview itself. Upload the two audios and transcriptions to the interviews underscore step two folder in Teams. Okay, so again, and under week 10 travel, we want to create a folder under this folder called interviews step two. And this is where you can upload your recordings, your audio and your transcriptions. Once you've completed step two, we'll go on to step three. Here you're going to make now an ideal travel plan based on the interviews from your client. Discuss with your teammates, come up now with an ideal travel plan based on the dollar amount that they have, based on their budget. Again, their budget as a pair is going to total $6,640. This is your budget and uh, your job here under step three is to create an ideal travel plan using actual prices in U.S. dollars. Here we want to consider the general question, how can I plan the most enjoyable trip, the most enjoyable trip within my client's budget based on their travel goals? Again, their travel goals are simply what they want to do. What do they enjoy doing? Where would they like to go? If they have a specific place, fine. Maybe you find some details about where in that country uh, that they could travel or that location. And once you've completed your recording of you discussing and working out your travel plan, upload your recorded conversation and the transcription Again, to Microsoft Teams under Week 10 Travel, under Travel Plan Step 3. Again, create a folder for your team. I would name the folder Team 1, for example, and add your files there. Once you've completed Step 3, move on to Step 4. This will be the last step, and this is now the presentation or presenting the idea or the itinerary to your client. So here, what I would suggest doing, we want to create a video. This is going to be the, the only video for this test. The other three steps are, are audio only, but step four, I'm going to ask that you create a video where you present the itinerary and you explaining the itinerary to your client. And for this task, I would ask that you go to Microsoft Teams under Notes and go under a section called Travel Plans Week 10. Go to your respective note. We have 10 different notes for each team, one note per team. And here is where you can present your itinerary. Make it visual, make it organized, make it easy to follow as you are presenting your itinerary and discussing it. And you can use various technologies for creating this video. Probably the easiest is to use Microsoft Teams and record yourselves sharing your screen, in this case, sharing your note, and show uh, also you describing or explaining your itinerary to your client. But you can use any technology, whatever is easiest. Um, you can insert video as well, but make it presentable, make it organized in this space so that when the client is listening to you and also referring to this page, it all makes sense. And it's all based on their travel goals and their budget. It's all based on what they would like to do for their, their travel, their vacation, within the budget that they have available to them. All right, so these are the four steps that we're going to follow, and we're going to be working in class over the next few days to complete this task, Making Travel Arrangements. The last thing I'll say is it's very important that during either 
before, during, and or after each of the four steps, it's important to meet with me, to consult with me, to either touch base, just to explain kind of how things are coming and how what you are accomplishing, but also to ask questions or if you need clarification. I want to have an opportunity during each of the four steps to provide feedback as needed. So it's very important to uh, touch base with me during, before, during, and or after each of the four steps that you've completed as, uh, as a team. All right, so this is what we'll be working on, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing your travel arrangements.